What is going on everyone? I am Nux Pro and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov quest guide. This guide will be for a shooter born in heaven specifically on the map woods. Now, if you need help with customs, reserve or shoreline, there's a playlist link in the description. A lot of views and a lot of comments of people saying the videos really help them complete the quest. In this video, I'm going to show you the best spots to complete this quest. Just as a note with the woods expansion, there's probably a thousand different spots to get a hundred meter headshot. I'm giving you the best spots that factor in things like clean sight lines, chance for a player to be standing still and places with high player traffic. And before we jump in game, if you are truly struggling with this quest and you have the money, just use a thermal. It's going to make this quest so much more easier now let's help you become the shooter born in heaven mother these spots will be in no special order i just happen to spawn over here there will be timestamps in the description below so you can navigate through the spots but we are here at outskirts there's the outskirts extract truck area. There's scav house. This spot here, you're only going to use at the beginning of your raid or at the end. So if you spawn here behind the scav house and you're moving around the back, or if you get the spawn back here, come up to the rock, see if you see anybody, you might catch somebody, the guy that spawned over there. He might be pushed into that bunk to the ZB bunker over there it's more likely you're not gonna see that but it's worth coming up here and at the end of your raid so you're extracting over the outskirt just come up here you might see somebody uh a tail in behind you or again you might see somebody coming out of the zb bunker good opportunity to get your 100 meter headshot so real quick if you're moving through this way i call this pebbles uh, this spot used to be really good before the expansion so if people had to extract over there in outskirts they're either going to go this way uh hugging the water or they're going to go that way hugging against the wall and you used to be able to sit here and see the people you know moving across to the extract now that the map is expanded it's not as as viable but if you're passing through here take a quick look for 20 seconds you never know what you'll find next spot here is this rock i just call it checkpoint rock you're pretty much just looking for players leaving the sawmill pushing through this way this is a point of interest because we have the purple key card spawn inside that car there so people will just come through quick and check that car and you can if you do hear people getting their scav kills down by uh outskirts this is a good opportunity to try to catch them and you can also counter snipe on top of the rock i showed you previously over here in outskirts this is a very popular rock for people to go on top of to kill scavs and get their scav quest done. We are now coming up on the sawmill spots. These are the best spots on woods to get this quest done. The most traffic runs through the sawmill. If you're stuck on Tarkov shooter party, I'm going to make a video on that too, but the most traffic is through the sawmill. Even with the expansion, people are still moving through the sawmill. They're trying to kill Sherman. They are doing quests. There's a safe in there. Purple key card spawn in there. Two purple key card spawns in there. This is the place to go if you really want to get this quest done. So first spot here, I call this water rock. Pretty obvious. You can see and this is the best I've been able to get the weather here in Tarkov. So we're going to take advantage of it. Um, even with the slight fog, it's not that bad. People like to hide uh, in this bush here and snipe. So you got that. You got this whole area 
to catch players and players are going to be on that side sniping as well so you can counter snipe them thermal works very well here that's this is the first spot for the sawmill sawmill spot number two i call this ramp rock you got good eyes on top of the mountain if you sus suspect somebody's up there sniping you got eyes up there and just like water rock you can see a little farther back here you can catch people on spine great spot sawmill spot number three dickhead rock you are very exposed and obvious in this spot but it is such a great spot to get your 100 meter headshot if you know somebody was fighting Sturman and they're looting bodies great place to pick them off you can also come on this side i've gotten 100 meter headshots believe it or not just with the thermal with people inside the forest here and you can get good eyes on the whole backside here super exposed good opportunity to get yourself killed but great opportunity to get 100 meter headshot sawmill spot number four i call this baby ramp rock now this is definitely my least favorite out of all the sawmill spots but you got eyes on dickhead rock you got eyes on the road over here you got eyes on big ramp rock over there not a bad spot i like this spot more this is sawmill spot number five i like this because the rock gives you cover from dickhead over there and you can get a little better eyes on the the ramp rock area and you could also see people creeping up next to water rock sawmill spot number six this spot's really good because you're kind of far away um people at dickhead rock might not catch you but you can get eyes on the top of the mountain here dickhead rock you know the far road over there ramp rock people moving across from um around water rock here great spot sawmill spot number seven we're uh that's water rock i don't have to call this just a rock but not my favorite spot but you can use this bush and you're pretty concealed it could be hard for uh, other snipers to pick you out but you are kind of limited you pretty much only have eyes on uh this side here so you know if you're pushing through here it is a decent spot but i like the other spots better but if you're really worried about like scavs or other players uh coming up behind you you can come over here again you only get this uh limited area though we are now on spine as you can see spine is a little bit like dickhead rock i feel like when you're up here you're a little exposed but it is a, a decent sniping spot just keep in mind you're looking at some farther shots depending on where you're shooting like if you're going across the sawmill you're looking at 200 meter shots uh if you were taking any of the spots i had that were like along the edge here this side and you shoot across they're 100 meters easy so if you come up here you're looking at farther shots a little more exposed you also can get eyes into the i think pastelli calls it the fob the fob the new area over here so it is a decent spot you know up to you if you want to use it next spot is the mountain now the mountain overlooks a lot of things it is definitely a great spot to get your 100 meter headshot for some reason people don't look up here i i feel it can go two ways 
some games everybody's like hello okay some games you come up here everyone's shooting at you other games you're up here and it's like no one even knows you exist so you can get pretty creative up here um you come over here if you got a thermal a thermal's not gonna go that far you can kind of pick some people out in the in the vegetation you can get some super far shots on the fob over there again a lot of these are far shots so keep that in mind not that it happens too often but people coming over from the expansion coming over the mountain here you can catch them moving across no one's really ever sniping up here because you can't see with all the trees you got eyes into the uh sawmill area beyond the sawmill area ramp rock just pretty obvious of all the things you can do you can get on top of there you can um move across over here you know you can get a little more deeper eyes there more eyes on the sawmill and this goes around not that all these spots are like super great back here but eyes over there and that is the mountain pretty pretty self-explanatory just remember you're looking at far shots sometimes and you are kind of exposed so this is one of those if you're passing through take a look now the the fob here is a huge point of interest a lot of people move through here way more people are moving through here than they are through the expansion uh, in my my play experience so if you are moving through here and obviously there's a lot of different angles you can take this i mean i wouldn't advise standing on this rock you're pretty obvious but if you're moving through here like say you're moving your you spawned back there you know by ruaf and you're just passing through making your way to the sawmill you just take a look you never know what you'll find might be able to get your 100 meter headshot again you do want some elevation because it is kind of hard to like look down into the fob you're kind of just waiting for the guy to come out and take your shot but there are some areas where you can catch um the player but you can be creative like i said there's a lot of different angles you can take it you can go on that rock right here for example expansion spot one so this overlooks a little village here you can see the uh bridge extract the car so you can extract camp here could be a really easy way to get a 100 meter headshot not a fan of that but you got to do what you got to do sometimes and other than that you're pretty much waiting for players to cross from this side of the village to that side or if they kill a scav and there's a dead scav in the middle you want to wait for them to loot the scav and um this is probably the best spot of all the expansion the final spot of the video and expansion spot number two is this little rock formation here that overlooks the you set camp i know there's a lot of vegetation in the way definitely not my favorite spot but it is a spot you're kind of hoping that timmy is looting a container and then you can take your shot or he's just standing there you know looting or whatever this spot works a lot better with a thermal but it is a spot i would check if you are moving through this area toward the beginning of the raid i wouldn't sit here all day the traffic just won't be there and that's it if you made it this far don't forget to like the video and maybe leave a kind comment or a comment with constructive criticism comments and likes really help push my videos up in the search results and i would really appreciate it and 
consider subscribing we're almost at 14,000 subscribers and the next video is going to be a guide to uh, the tarkov shooter part eight and that's all i got thank you for watching the video